please. But uh, before that, let's take this uh, story. The First Lady of Nigeria, Oluremi Tinubu, has called on Nigerian women to unite and support one another in pursuing political offices, emphasizing the power of solidarity and collective leadership in Africa. At the All Progressives Congress, Women National Summit and Dialogue in Abuja, she encouraged women to break down self-imposed barriers and focus on shared goals, highlighting their critical role in nation building. Well, she has also uh, highlighted the renewed hope agenda led by President Bola Tinubu, noting that the initiative prioritizes opportunities for women. The event had in attendance the wife of the Vice President, the First Lady of the Gambia, the National Assembly members, State First Ladies, Deputy Governors, women leaders of the All Progressives Congress from across Nigeria and members of the diplomatic community. The Renewed Hope Agenda of His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Chinobuji CFR places strong emphasis on creating opportunities for women to thrive economically, socially, and politically. My charge to you all today is for women to unite and actively support each other, especially when pursuing elective positions or advancing in leadership. Let us rally around one another, provide necessary encouragement, support, understanding, and guidance as we lift each other up. This summit allows us to discuss our roles as women in politics and to embrace the power that lies within our collective strength. It is a reminder that we shouldn't be satisfied with just being onlookers we should strive to be shapers of Nigeria's political landscape, nation builders, and the architects of our future. Right, uh, Theophilus, uh, the critical role of women in nation building cannot be, you know, overemphasized. And like the First Lady mentioned, uh, women should not limit themselves to the imaginary limitations, saying, um, if I contest, would they actually vote for me? And she also raised some critical issues about uh, the number of representation of women in the National Assembly. Perhaps women will have to come together at this time to also, you know, raise this issue, push for further legislation to increase the quota of women uh, that must have the seat as the Assembly. Uh, well, there have been a considerable level of improvement in terms of uh, women participation in politics that we've seen in the past and the support they get. But more work still needs to be done. Uh, it's very possible for us to shape our future, to do things right or much better when we support women. And like the First Lady said, one woman at a time. Uh, when you look at other industries, other sectors, you see that we have women that control things there. If we can have an extension of this in politics, I believe it will bring you know, unique experiences and also different viewpoints to the table. Women want to take over everything. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you talk about women supporting women and all of that, but the, the, the major question I ask myself right, okay. is um, you don't hear these kind of things with men mm. because that's because men always support themselves, right? We support each other. You can get in traffic and be just in and strike a deal there without even having knowing someone's name or having his number. Uh, men go, um, go the old hog to support themselves, but we see that Women, the mantra of women supporting women, has been on for quite a long time, but do we actually see that? Mm. If a woman comes out to contest for election, will the fellow women vote her in? Mm. If a woman is um, aspiring to um, greater achievement in career and all of that, it's the same women that will tell the woman, no, focus on family, focus on this, focus on that. We need to ensure that women can support themselves. Women supporting women should be not just a mantra, but something true. Mm -hmm. Something every woman can say, okay, yes, women support women. Mm -hmm. And, you know, beyond um, saying that um, these women may not come out or uh, they're not bold enough in most cases, um, the first lady mentioned about legislation. Uh, mm -hmm. Do we have laws in place to ensure that women are well represented? And when you talk about uh, the home front, there are also concerns about that, that if the woman can manage the home front properly,
how much more the nation. And so the home front is different are, from the nation. Well, the nation, is the nation is a, it's, it's a it's a huge ball game entirely. And so we are not talking about taking over. We are talking no, no, no. about proper re uh, representation. Yes, proper representation, equal representation. Rather than but how many and how many factors. how many women have come out to show that we want this? Even in, 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 in political positions, right, if a woman comes out mm. to um, contest or to aspire for office, this, this, will women vote her in? We've had examples in the past where someone contested in the PDP, a woman, and it was, she only got one vote. And that vote was just hers. So you can understand what I'm talking about where we say women, that, that mantra, women supporting women, has to be um, something true. Something that we don't have to think about. Yes, women are supporting women. The goal, the whole hog, and all of that. That's why I say when we talk right. about that, if it, if it comes to men, mm. we don't have to say that because men naturally support themselves. So while I agree with you on uh, well, the women supporting women mantra and all that, uh, this is where men come in to also make sure they encourage to also push women forward. We're always there encouraging themselves to sell to realize their worth yes. and what they stand for in that sense. But uh, that's a fine place to leave it for now. Let's bring you the news update. President Bola Tinubu will swear in the newly appointed